Were there any challenges to being a theme, uh, fencing choreographer on a big budget film like Charlie Rangers? The challenge is to being a sword master on a, a shoot like Charlie's Angels. Actually, I'm not even sure what I would call a shoot like Charlie's Angels. It was unique. I think anybody who worked on Charlie's Angels would say it was unique. It was a very big budget picture, obviously. And it became a bigger budget than it was ever even planned to be. And a longer shoot than it was planned to be, which is part of what made it challenging for me. I worked the very first week. In fact, I worked the first day of what turned out to be about a six month shoot. So that was kind of crazy because by the time people were four, five, six months into the shoot, they had a much clearer picture of what the end product was going to be than I did on day one. And because of all of the craziness of leading up to it, and they did a big cast change at the last minute, and Bill Murray came in as Bosley, and it was originally going to be John Ritter, and everything got changed. And so the director didn't have any time to sit down and have a nice calm chat with me about his vision for the film, the way that ideally happens, and certainly on calmer, smaller projects, always happens. So on day one, I would say I didn't necessarily have the picture in my mind of what Charlie's Angels turned out to be, which I thought was terrific. It would have been so much easier if I had known coming to the project what the role of this fight was going to be. And instead, I'm just sitting there trying to figure, okay, okay, what about if we do it like this? What about if we do it? And there's so much money at stake and there's so many big name actors at stake not wanting to waste their time that you really have to be on the ball with what they need, where they need it, when they need it. I lost the